Team Murgalo, and okay, we got to talk about last night. We had a, you said that I talked you guys up, and America, I think, agreed because you guys were safe. You were worried. I, I, I was worried. I know she was worried as well. And I mean, we're so thankful for all the fans out there who have, who have continued to vote for us each and every Monday because I think they saved our butts last night. So thankful. Jess. Okay, now I want to say, no, because it seemed like you, you were beating yourself up because of the moves, like, you know, the technical stuff. But what we said last night is your connection because of Catherine, because of what you were doing. I think that's where America's relating to you. Yeah, and I, I'm so thankful for that. And I'm, I'm glad that that showed through. And I did get a big response on Twitter. And, you know, people that came up to me last night and they saw the emotion and they saw how authentic and genuine the dance was. Um, so I'm, I'm glad that showed through. And I'm glad that, you know, we were able to, to skate by on a dance that I didn't perform so well. See, okay, so you live to fight another day or dance another day. What do you guys have next week? We have the quick step, and we're actually dancing with two other pros. So it's going to be... <laughs> do, we, do we want to bring them guys, in? I love it. We, we, we can throw everyone in here. We can make this a little party. Okay, can we put them in frame? Yep. Okay, Team Murgalo, and we've also got Team Dick here. Okay. Yeah. Is that like a Murga Dick? A Murga Dick. Maybe a Mega? A mega, a what? Mer Merlo, Who said that? A Merlo dick. A Merlo dick. Merlo there we go. A Merlo, Merlo dick. dick. That sounds like a weird wine. <laughs> but okay, so I'm just going with it. All right, so you guys are all safe. So how does this happy family feel about next week? You, you know, you guys, what do you have again next week? We have Quick Step, and I think you guys have Paso. Ooh, Ooh the Paso. It's going to be fun with, you know, having another pro couple. I think they're going to learn a lot from seeing them in the rehearsal, what they yeah. do, and they'll be able to give tips and help, you know, just them in the right the direction. cool thing is is that I really root for a lot of these uh, other celebrities who you know they should be my competition but like Andy I was probably cheering louder than anyone else when they announced Aww. that they were safe mm -hmm. so it's cool because I want Andy to do well and Sharna obviously and um, I just Thanks, hope they come buddy. out and knock it out of the park next Monday oh, you know and, and that's great a great point you just said because now tonight we lost Lisa you know what are your feelings do you agree with what happened what are your feelings losing part of your family tonight I think everybody's sad because yeah. everyone enjoys being with her. She's so funny and witty, yeah. uh, and she's such a good person. So I'm going to miss seeing her around the studio. Yeah. A any stories of the time spent with her? Any stories with Gleb and Lisa this season? Uh oh, you've got one. No, uh, you would think there was, but she's just an incredibly strong and wonderful woman. She's an inspiration to all women. She's driven, intelligent, beautiful, talented, all the things a woman should be. So she's going to be missed in our cast. Every dance I always tell her, because we watch her from the skybox, and I say, you look like a 19-year-old ballerina. She's right there. Look at her body. Look at her body. Pan over there. Oh, okay, we're going to pan over there. Look, go down. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> we've we've yeah. got the entire dancing with the stars just cast here. From behind, just tonight, I thought it was Zendaya. I did. I'm like, there's Zendaya. And then and it was it was her. I'm serious. Okay, with that said, wow. All right, so. Okay, okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm feeling it, guys. So, okay. But to keep you guys here, we've got to win the judges over. So, how do we do that? Well, we have our little secrets that she came up with. We're not Ooh, oh, what is that? Thing. We're not going to say anything. He's inviting Bruno to dinner during the week, I think. <laughs> <laughs> oh, at least it's 26 restaurants. So that's what it is. It's take one of the judges to dinner. No, I don't think we're allowed to talk to the judges. And you know, you just got to do exactly what they say. Yeah. Okay. So here's your chance to do... Oh, you're joking. I was going to say, no, we don't talk to them. We don't, talk, we don't see them. Truthfully, truthfully, the only thing we can all do is work as hard as we've been doing and try and fix the things that the judges point out and just go in and fight to not be in the bottom three, fight to do better and have the best quick step, tango, whatever it is that people are doing next week. Put your heart and soul into it. That's the game plan. And yeah. as Len said in week two, it's about improvement. And I think you, b both of you have been doing that exceptionally well this season. So thank you. Yeah. Thank you, guys. So Team Dick, Team Murgalo, vote for them. Keep them here. Keep the Murgalo Dick team here. Yeah. <laughs> We will buzz you later. And yes, we, we will. You guys want to do that? Yeah. One, two, and three. Buzz you later.